What's going on guys? So today on the first Master Grade Monday unboxing of 2021, we have a thing that I got right at the end of last year, and it is a IBO thing, and it's the P Banda MG uh, expansion part set for the Bagatos. It was right here on the desk because I preemptively pulled them out because I figured it would be necessary. So, gotta get the knife out. It doesn't click anymore. Not since the, the thingy broke. It's less impressive. Okay. Come on. There we go. And I couldn't do the uh, unboxing on the on the uh, review set as it is very full at the moment. So it's so over here on the desk desk. It is what it is. Just have to get over it. So, box. Looks fine. It's funny, it's actually like a big HG box, not an MG box. Ooh. Look at there. Some water slides. Come on. Okay, so first first bait. So that's gonna have the T-Rex hammer. Okay, okay. So we got T-Rex hammer parts for the most part. Some random purple bit. I think that was the uh, claw shooty bit from the Schwab Grays. That's that extra shield part. And there's the tall toesies. It's cute. It's cute. And then, as previously stated, water slides. So you got Tekadon, water slides, Gellahorn, even battle damage water slides. That's pretty cool. Kimaris, nice CGS. And it looks like there might be multiple sizes, even though it says all 1 100, but like you got battle damage, all kinds of cool stuff. Look at that. Interesting. Okay. You guys should know how I feel about water slides. Oh, you don't? Well. There. Let's see here. Oop, I dropped something. Oh, by the way, I didn't say it. Bags on the floor. Oh. Oh. Some textured thingy. I have no idea what that is. I see that? Hmm. I'm sure the instructions will tell me. So we've got the claw parts there. We've got this saw from inside the hammer. We've got some chest part. So it sucks I'm in, actually in the shadow of the phone. So let me drop it down, make it like a little bit easier. Here we go. And then focus because I'm not sure if it is. Okay, we got a white runner. This or small parts an orga. We have an orga. Oh, because there's a yes. Alright. Uh forearm parts, feet parts, ankle guards, knee parts, I think. More uh those are the shoulder extensions, crotch parts, and side thrusters. So that's pretty neat. So uh the reason I was just surprised by the orga is I forgot that one of the main reasons I purchased this came in this. So we finally get a 1 to 100 version of a uh, mobile worker. And I'm excited about that. Okay, so now we get the brownish black runners of doom or whatever. Uh, it's going to have that extended armor chest piece that he used just that once for re-entering the atmosphere and then ditched it. Uh, I'm not entirely certain what those are from. Maybe it's mace. Does this one come with the big old mace thingy? I don't think so. I don't know what those are from. Right off the top of my head, so here's an extra chest part. Uh, extra side skirt thruster parts. Which looks nice. Hinge thingy. Not sure what that's from. I don't even remember all the stuff that's in here. Is that bad? Maybe that's for the... No. What other weapons did he have? I don't remember. 
Guys, it's been a long time since I've done IDO stuff. Okay, so this definitely has a little bit of mobile worker parts, including some weapons. we got some foot frame parts. Uh, just a little bits here and there. Spiky thingy that I have no idea what it does. Back of a leg or... It's a rusted part. That looks like a new forearm part. Because remember, this has some extended forearm parts. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. There's the guns. First side of the mobile worker. Makes me excited. A little bit of missile pods. Same thing. So, the annoying part is, there's no way to buy the 1-100 to uh, mobile workers aside from this. So, like, even if you wanted to have multiple versions of mobile workers, as far as I know, you can't. And we won't get anything like a uh, yellow horn or anything like that until later expansion parts. Uh, shoulder armor bits and other things, I forget exactly. We got two blue parts, so I like this. So this is going to be an add-on build, as it were. There's my mobile worker shiz. Yes. Oh, it doesn't move around that much. So it's actually very similar to how you construct the small version. You got the legs, you got the body, and it is, in fact, hollow. It makes me sad. Could be better. Uh, I guess I'll have to paint some bits on there, presumably. Then a wire, probably for the claw thingy. Alright, some more T-Rex hammer. Look, I know it's called a wrench mace. I don't care. We all know it's the T-Rex hammer. And now all those guys who made the like T-Rex Gundam will be able to do it again. Uh, so we got a big old pole, uh, handle weapons, the actual, some more T-Rex parts, just more actual blackish pieces, it's pretty cool. Uh, partial repeat of that, so there's a slightly larger bit, actually it would be over here, so that's cool. Damn it, they broke even further. <laughs> that that knife is so cheap. Even though it wasn't cheap. That like it's just breaking from use. Like all of the things that were involved in the retaining of the blade are now gone. That's just freaking stupid. Okay, so another repeat runner. That's the same foot parts, arm parts, little frame bits. And then Looks to be another partial repeat. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we have instructions. Set this over here. Expansion part set. So despite the fact this is a P Bandai, you do get full color on the cover. I know it's probably been a while since I didn't do that. Okay, so we got the forearm claw thingy. Different side skirt thrusters depending. Um, different things for a mobile worker. I like the idea that it gives you multiple spots. You can do more CGS. Yeah, second form, first form, third form, which is just adding different things. Okay, so we have first form, which is virtually no armor. Second form, that's the grazed shoulders and side handle. Third form, just added the claw to that. Fifth form was after they built the custom shoulder armors, forearm armors, and side skirts, plus the big chest part. That was the go down to earth section. Then you got the fifth form ground type. Uh, that was where they raised the heels and stuff, and they went down to earth, and that's where they first encountered Karta. And then you have the sixth form, which is after they added the new stuff from Battling Carta, which is interesting to say the least. That's cool. And it's annoying that, like, it, you have only one Barbatos. I mean, I get the irony of the gimmick is that you have all this armor and all this stuff, and you only have the one Gundam to put it on. I just feel like stuff's gonna break. 
But hopefully they give you enough like new parts that you're you can just swap the arms out. Like you don't have to disassemble armor and whatnot. Like hopefully you can just pull off arms. But I guess I'll end up doing it the way it is and just be progressive with it. So you know, there's it's it's kind of funny. I'm, it's gonna be an interesting review because it's not an entirely new build. It's reconstructing bits and pieces of something we already have. Hmm. I might have to shoot this one differently. Yeah, might have to shoot this different. Because the armor progresses and or totally changes as it goes on. So yeah. I might have to I might have to think about how to shoot this exactly. So but this is gonna be fun. I'm excited, you know, get some master grade stuff going. You know, actually do something with Barbara Joe's like I've had him out all you know waiting to the point where I could actually build this. But it, once again it comes down to you're only gonna be able to dis uh, display a single form. So you're gonna end up with a box of parts. So that's the one really dumb thing about this, you know, because even when you bought the HG Barbatos, you ended up with the uh, fourth form right out of the box. You didn't really have an option unless you bought option parts. That I still want to know exactly what this is for. It feels like a rubber piece. And the... Come here. Can't grab it. There we go. Water slides. So those are neat. So, well, that's going to be it for this Master Grade Monday unboxing. I know, I know, it's been a while. But like I said, I'm trying to get back to it. I need to build a buttload of stuff this year. Um, clear out the backlog, basically. And because my backlog has extended to over here now, behind me, where I now need precious... Uh, display space I'm going to probably be focusing on a lot of that stuff just to get it out and done that includes master grades I've been waiting on uh, larger builds such as the RG new or the uh, narrative Gundam C packs all large boxes that are all over here so probably gonna be focusing on doing those things right off the bat off the year There's not a whole lot of new stuff that's out at the moment uh, I do have quite a few things that have been in the backlog for a while, including Star Wars things, uh, a lot of Gunpla kits, more Fling Toys stuff. So I'm just going to get back to it. And now that I have an airbrush, we'll see what happens. Um, i got to learn that skill this year as well. So yay for first Gunpla of the year, at least unboxing. Obviously, there's an HD review coming out this week because I built the thing end of last year and never got around to reviewing it and now I need to. So gonna be a very busy day tomorrow. Just with YouTube time travel. So I'll catch you guys next time. Remember as always, keep on building.